is it the food that we're eating? Is it antibiotics that we're taking? Is it the chemicals that we seem to be spraying on all the crops now? What What do you think is leading to some of this? Yeah, so, so the answer is yes, yes, and yes on that one for sure. So our science group and clinical team have really uh, started at the obvious point of the food, uh, nutrition. Uh, the most obvious way that we interact with our nature is uh, by putting it in our mouths and ingesting it. And so whether we're thinking about uh, a, a piece of uh, fruit or a, a nice pile of vegetables or uh, a piece of hamburger or whatever it is we're about to put in our mouth, that's about to interact with our entire system. And, and now we know uh, through current genomics is that we're actually changing our DNA by what we put in our mouth. And, and how that happens is many steps. But the first step is as that food goes into our bodies, it starts to feed our bacteria. And our bacteria digest and metabolize that food into nutrients that we can then have the opportunity to absorb at the human gut level. What we were seeing in our clinic is that as we got our patients eating healthier and healthier, there was a portion of the population that immediately could reverse their diabetes and start to get better. And there was a large portion of the population that no matter how healthy we seemed to feed them and how much water we got them to drink, they weren't overcoming these, these chronic disease inflammatory processes in nearly the same fashion as this, uh, what others. What was that, do you think? What was happening? Or what wasn't happening? Yeah, that was our question. And it's taken us some years to sort that out. But in the end, it turns out that their guts were different than, than the others. And so uh, the intestines that were receiving that food were not prepared for that information to get in there. That's because of the biome, the bacterial biome was, was inadequate for the... Job. That's what it's starting to look like. Every day there's now a new article in the, in the medical journals suggesting that it's the bacteria that we have in our intestines, the lack thereof or specific species being overrepresented in the gut will then predict disease processes that will be manifest in the human body. And so we're seeing this pattern happen where uh, food is entering the system and if you have the right bacteria to receive that food, you can break down kale and get the micronutrients out of there with the iron and the protein and all these amazing nutrients in the kale and get that trafficked across the bowel membrane. And that process of getting food from uh, the raw material into its micronutrients and then into the body looks to be maybe the real front line of, of the whole story of chronic disease in America in that if we are unprepared for that, that food to be coming or if we are vulnerable to, a, to injury at that gut lining, then we start to fail no matter what we put in the mouth.